Hello, everybody. This is Frogman. Welcome back to Engineer's Life 2. We've been kind of busy moving bases and doing a few things, and it's getting a little bitty, kind of, you know, empty over here. I am going to leave the kitchen over here for now, mainly because we have a pile of food, but I have kind of cleaned out some of the more important stuff that we need. I will slowly over time move all of this junk and things back over to the other base. I do want to grab both of those just in case we may need them later. And yeah, we're going to kind of go on a little bit and do some more fun stuff today. So I am going to say that um, before we get any too terribly far, I finally have had to modify this pack just a little bit and modify this pack in of that I have removed a mod. I updated today, and it's kind of the reason why this is going to be a little late today. I updated today to the newest version of the pack, and sometime in between the last time we played, which would have been a week or so ago, and now there's been at least a couple updates and at least one mod that was added, and that mod is called Simply Seasons. I have removed Simply Seasons, mainly for the fact that Simply Seasons was making the world rain and or snow and or be dark all the time which was not working with how we want to play with this for youtube so for videos whatnot i have just letting you guys know and there goes one of those big long pause spikes hello there we go uh just letting you guys know i have removed it basically what it was doing is i think we were either in autumn or or um winter time over there at the other base and the sun was rising taking forever to come up and not being very bright. Uh, and then the days were really, really, really short. So it was like it was whether or not that was the way it was supposed to be functioning or not. I don't really care. I have removed it. I moved over to that Savannah for a reason. And so we didn't have to play with serene seasons and the constant rain and snow that come with serene seasons. So I don't know exactly where we are as far as the season is concerned i've probably screwed it up and advanced it a couple of times i think the clock's over and the other thing anyway but just just so you guys know we have removed that mod because i found it was causing problems at least as far as how things were going to look for our world and our things so i have been a little busy over here i've got a few more things built we're kind of getting this wall kind of fleshed out and getting a few more things up i have a couple more of the crafting stations and this was actually what i was going to do with this so we'll put you down here and the rail workers bench i think we're just going to put this over here out of the way for now i uh, this is going to sit right there again until we need to move it i may accidentally put it over here or i may put it on top stuff doesn't really matter this is how this is going to be uh, that metal crafting table probably is just going to get thrown in the trash here pretty soon i just kind of brought it over here in case we needed it i don't think there's anything much major of any issue in here oh yeah i did want you because i do need to be able to use you eventually so we'll just put you right here for now so i have started to build this room out a little bit we've got a little bit of the i've got another metal press going and as you notice we've got a little bit of the wire going because i did do a little bit of work over there so we're gonna go take a look at that right after we take a nap i think and then we'll go on. I even built one of these cool little clocks just to try to figure out. That mod was messing with me so hard because it was cloudy and the rain wasn't going away and the snow and everything and all that other stuff was happening and the sun was going. It was taking forever for the sun to even come up after I slept. So it's kind of one of these, like, it, it, it's, it, was, it was really, really, really annoying me. So let's take a nap. Okay, cool. So... Yeah, that's a hundred percent better. Wow, that that yeah, I just I just reloaded the game after spending about an hour and a half playing, maybe more, and that is a hundred percent better. So okay, cool. Uh let's go over here. I've done a little bit of polishing on the water wheel selection thingy over here, and I got into messing around with the engineer's decor, catwalks and stairs and things. And we also are also in between episodes. I went ahead and installed a second pair of water wheels in underneath the other ones so uh we have access to them we've got them wired up they're actually broadcasting power out to the rest of the system see this is this is what it was like for like three two hours pretty much two hours of just trying to goof around doing this mess so um I'm assuming we're probably either in springtime or fall time because if we go back over to the other base, it's probably raining. But anyhow, got some nice little catwalks going so we can kind of walk around the outside of this thing and look at a couple of things and built a little bridge over the top of it just to kind of make it look neat for the moment and time just, you know, to do things. I'm probably going to redo 
how this little thing works. I hung these out here just because, you know, it was kind of trying to make something work with these connectors, considering that they don't connect to things like, well, these. So if I put these down, um, they kind of look a little wonky. And did I have any of the other ones left? No, I don't have any of the other ones left. These are really nice looking blocks. I mean, they, they, they look exactly like what I want them to do and they'll do this. But if I do this, it connects to the bottom of it and not the side of it because this is in the top half of the block and not the middle of the block. So it still works. It just looked a little wonky. So I may have to come up with something else. I'm not a humongous fan of this, but we shall see. I think once we get a little bit more steel production going, we're going to replace those with some steel scaffoldings or things like that. So I just kind of spent a little bit of time playing with this because it really needed some work. These are cool. I like these lanterns. They move when you get near them and all that kind of stuff. So we're just gonna wander down to the bottom here and just continue. So we do have the power now hooked up to the base. I went and hung that HV capacitor that we made however many episodes ago to the side of this pole. And then those guys are gonna keep this all up and happy. And again, we have a kind of, we kind of started to do a few things because we're going to kind of need to start doing a few things. So I'm gonna try these item pipes as a way of delivering outputs. I know this looks janky as all get out, but I mean, if I do this, it'll dump them in there and put them in this pipe. I have been fighting with certain things, trying to figure out how I want to build stuff. Um, those item pipes, they work, but the thing is, is they're not smart. So if you put a bunch of stuff in them, they'll just kind of, like I said, if they have multiple exits, I guess what I'm gonna say is it's, if it's, it treat it like it's a long chain of hoppers, but not like a duct or a thing like from, from thermal or whatever. It needs to have a single output, but can have many inputs. So if you have multiple outputs, like if I'm trying to feed furnaces or, you know, stuff like this, if I wanted to do, I was thinking this was going to work and then I kind of played with it a little bit. If you do eh, this and this, and then put like a hopper or something on it, cause this is how you work these. If I put stuff in this, it'll feed everything into this furnace first and then or whichever one, and then just sit there and bounce back and forth and back and forth and back and forth until the pipe breaks. So they're not good for that. They're good for outputs and they're going to be good for long distance carrying of other little things from one point to another, but there, that's about all they're going to be good for. So one thing I do want to mention, and I know that it's kind of one of those things that if you're, if you're used to playing immersive engineering, we do have one of the, one of my favorite mods for immersive engineering, and that's the immersive posts. These things are super cool. Basically instead of, well, I mean, I think we still have one. Do I have a post in here? because it made us make some of them. This post right here, these posts, this steel post, you can make the regular posts. Let's look at these a little bit here for just a second. We're gonna kind of talk about this because I really love these things. This is a normal immersive engineering post. If you look at it, it's just the way it is. That's all the taller it'll ever be and that's all the better it'll ever be. I mean, you can do the, the little wrenching on the sides of it to get the things to come out of it. You can do that as well. Immersive posts are modifiable or extendable posts and they use any of the, I, I think it's just about any of the fence in the game. So, I mean, if you look at the list of stuff, it's right here. So you take a fence post and you click it on the bottom of it. And I can make that thing just as silly tall as I want it to be. If I think I need it to be that tall, I can make it that tall. What's nice about that is, is you can adjust the size, you can adjust the height. And they also have several other functions, I think, because there's other things you can do besides this. They'll do this, which I don't think you can do with these. Yeah. So if I want to go twice the size, I think they'll even go for Yeah, they'll only go out two. But look at the about a capacity that we can carry on that. I mean, if I break that right there, those will all come down here. That's quite the telephone pole to be able to carry a lot of stuff. So I'm, I'm very, very, very happy. I've always loved this mod. When, we, when I found this or when we found this when we were playing Manufactio, it was like, yes, this is an amazing thing. It's something that those posts should be able to do. So all of our posts are going to be built out of specific things like that. Yes, it may cost a little bit more on the resources, but they are definitely a lot better than other things. And the extendable post is not extend very expensive to craft. It's just some cobblestone and some stone bricks. So pretty much simple stuff. Alrighty, what are we gonna do today? Well, we've been busy moving things back and forth and getting a few things going around. And we did this last episode and I think we're caught up with all the discussion that I wanna do for now. Uh, I am gonna, again, continue to build 
out certain things that we need to build out certain things as we go again this building is going to be a long-term project and you know i really wish it would stop raining seriously stop look like i said it's going to be raining over here for no apparent reason because i slept But anyhow, we'll, we'll deal with it, I suppose. I, it, I don't really see the need for Serene Seasons either, so I may remove that mod as well. Just, just It's it's not really adding anything to the benefit of the pack. So uh, we'll see how it goes. We're going to play around a little bit. So onwards, upwards, next words, where do we need to start thinking about other stuff? We need to start talking about making a bunch of steel and a bunch of other things so that we can actually start producing some resources. So... Let's look in our quest booky thingy or better quest booking thingy or whatever this is going on. Let's get up to the simple storage, becoming an engineer. I want to kind of start working out towards this thing right here. Now that excavator, we're going to have to make the prospector thing, which is going to be a core sample drill and a mineral survey tool. This is new. Let's kind of play around with this today. I want to kind of, like I said, I kind of want to work down towards that difference. And what we need to do is we need to find a block or a area that is going to have pretty much nothing but iron in it or whatever. And then we need to start looking at being able to make a lot of power. So I'm going to put all of this stuff away. Where is those posts? Yeah, I kind of figured you were going to be like that. I'm going to have to do a little bit of modification of this. You can you can modify the slots as to where things go. So, like, I can make it to where this will sit up here. I just have to add this plus whatever post is to the whitelist in the actual configuration for immersive engineering to do that kind of stuff. So, it's going to be another one of those fun things we'll have to play with eventually. So, uh, and then that needs to go in there. I don't want to lose this stuff. Those things are not that hard to make, but they're kind of expensive at this point, considering that we're doing everything by hand. So, put everything away. And let's see what we can do about making an, um, a core sample drill, I do believe. Why is this off again? Core sample drill is going to be all of that. Can we make any more of this? Thank you. Awesome. Where's that uh, capacitor we had? I have another capacitor somewhere. Where did I put it? There it is. All right. I'm going to let this thing charge up a little bit, I think. And then we're going to go and play around with a core sample drill to see if we can't find some kind of stuff. I want to start looking for these now. And the only way we're going to know where they're at is if we start looking for them. So I'm going to be back with you guys once this charges up a little bit. Actually, what we can do is it wanted us to craft what else? What else did it want us to craft? It wanted us to craft a mineral survey tool. I don't know what this is. Uh, I think we can do this. Yeah, okay, good, because I have quite a bit of stuff. I uh, Maybe... Thank you. What does this do? Does it remember what we're doing? Hmm, I don't know. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can sleep, the, sleep this rain away. Okay, cool. What, let, let's read our book then. What is this all about? Start prospecting to take survey tools out into the wilderness to search for mineral veins. Survey tools provide approximate vein locations and multiple samples of the same vein increase the vein information. Samples can overlap, so samples may contain information from multiple veins. Next is good to bring a core sample drill to a prospected area to get a more accurate data on a vein. Make sure to bring a power source, a capacitor, along with your power, along with you to power the drill. The sample will provide it will provide gives detailed vein information at that location. Veins are no longer chunk based. Oh, for more information, check out the mineral deposits section of the IE manual. Well, now, uh, where's our manual? This might be a little bit more in-depth than I thought it was going to be. Why is that rock in there? Get that rock out of there. We don't want none of that crap. Go away. Uh, okay. I mean, I knew that there were going to be changes...
more accurate reading is okay. It's the exact same thing that we just read. So then core sample drill will not only tell you exactly what minerals are found there, including their relative presence, but also their individual saturation. A higher saturation means a higher chance for our excavator to fill its but oh god. Right. Sneak right click a core sample, place it in the world, allowing you to read its position and information. It additionally, when placed, you can right click it with a map in order to mark its original position on there. Well, that's nice, at least. Following pages list every type of vein and ores that can be retrieved from them. <sighs> this is only something found in the nether. That's actually really cheap. Wow. So you mean I can just mine that stuff? Huh, cool. Copper and gold, prismarine and emerald, coal and sulfur, iron, copper, sulfur, cinnabar, galena. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Looks like we're going to have a little bit of fun doing some stuff that I did not want to do today. Um... Okay, well, I guess that means we have to kind of pick how we want to do this. I'm going to survey this area first. I mean, we're going to survey around us because it makes the most sense to survey around us first, and then we're going to see what we end up with. Um, how full did that end up being, I wonder? I guess we'll find out. Um, so do I... Oh, goodness. Are you kidding me right now? Well, I guess. Let's do this. Let's start in the corner of a, of a chunk. I know they say it's not chunk-based, and what do we get? That is going to take forever. S Southwest? Where are we? I hate this map. Where is the... That direction. There is an, a pyrrhic chloride about eight steps to the... You. Uh, all right, well, let's go get some, some kind of something scaffolding blocks to play with. That'll work. Put those away for now. No, don't do that. I worked hard to make that puddle look better. So eight steps to the north. So if I do this again, block can't be used in a mineral survey. Wonderful. Did I go the wrong way? Yeah, I did. Where's the north? North is this way. So you said eight blocks from right here. Uh, go away. Can I have my cobble back, please? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're saying right here, there is an epu. Who's this? What? What is this one? Is it even anything we want? Gold and copper. Gold and copper. Well, let's see what we see then. I suppose we put this down. I need to make one of these sides. Uh, we'll just do this output and then break and do that. And see what it says. Hundred percent saturation is a hundred percent crude crude ooh crude oil reservoir at eleven thousand buckets of oil right there. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down, and that means right here we can build a bucket excavator, and we'll get copper and gold 
and other things. So I need to find some iron. We need to find some iron. So I'm going to run around and look around for some iron, and hopefully we got some kind of close. I don't mind that this is going to be right here because, again, this is going to be a massive industrial complex with things coming in all over the place. And I, I need the copper and I need the gold, but I need the iron more so. Iron and coal is what we need the most right now so we can make a bunch of steel. Oh, this is going to be fun. I don't even know how I want to do this. Okay, so I think we're playing the game here again. It's given me a do this, do that, do this, do that. So this is going to be a um, cinnabar vein, which should end up being... Cinnabar vein, seven steps to the southeast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is this how this is going to work? Six steps to the west. One, two, three, four, five. Well, shoot. Right there. One step to the west. So right there will be a redstone vein, hopefully. And let's see what we got. Yeah, this is going to be uh, even more tedious than it used to be. That's amazing. That's not a good change, fellas. Hundred percent saturation. Expected yield thirty-two thousand ores. Okay, well that's cool. We'll uh. Put you down. I'm going to keep looking. I mean, it's that's good. We got redstone and copper right off the bat. I need a pile of iron. Well, there's a uraninite vein. That's cool. That means we've got your 28,000 blocks of uranium to play with. Cool. Uh, that'll come in handy eventually. Unfortunately, it's right here. So let me make a nice little spot for that to sit so we can do it and do that. I probably should go make a map. Uh, I am not finding anything. I found some basalt and I guess we're going to keep looking around. I Again, I, I want to try to not make a mess everywhere, but it's not looking good. Let's see what we got in this one. Is it going to say the same one we just said? Yeah, I know that one. We already got it. Let's move to another chunk. No mineral traces. Maybe the better idea is to stand in the middle of the chunk and do this. No mineral traces. No mineral traces. Bitimus coal. That's better. Let's see. Where is the coal going to be? Um. So we went this way. Try it right there. Towards the east. East is going to be that way. You watch it going to be in this mountain. Sixteen steps to the east. Gosh dang it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yes? Two more steps. And of course, I'm too close to the previous survey point at that point to be able to do anything with it. That'll be interesting because that means we can make like a flat spot right here and run it down off of a conveyor. Uh, let's see. Put this down. Let's see what else we get. Because I think what we're going to do is if we can find some of this stuff getting on towards it, I'm going to go spend a bit of time in between episodes mining for iron and then processing, well, iron and coal, and then processing that into steel so we can get hot into building a few things. It's not an awful lot of coal. Hmm, I don't know. We'll find out. Um, put that down. <sighs> Onwards and upwards. What is that? Is that going to get us something to be usable? So 
That is iron, nickel, and sulfur. 35%, 35%, 35%. Okay, so let's find this one. That's not amazing. I just, like I said, I don't want to make sure we've got all these set up because we're going to be doing some silly stuff, and we need to do it. So it said anywhere in this general area. Let's see if it's this direction. Uh, southeast. Over there again. What do we get? Nine steps to the southeast. Two steps to the southwest. That one. Probably too close, probably can't do it. Yeah, too close to previous survey points. So you can't tell me. So that means now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here and fiddle with this thing a little bit. And this may be something we'll have to do later on is to do a, a sampling of everything down. So like wherever I placed the thing originally, we'll have to do it again in like a circle around where it was just to see if the density, I mean, I guess if we're getting 100% density like that is, see, that's not an awful lot of ores. That's going to be 30%, 30%, 30%. So it's not a lot. Um, I'm going to mark this one, but I think I'm going to continue to look as we go so let's see here um let's go to the other side of the base did i check in here i did kind of check around over here a little bit that's kind of annoying i mean it, it, it works sure it works it's another way of doing things but it's kind of annoying so it'd be really nice if we had something even closer than that so let's try this one no mineral traces. And let's try that block just for fun. No mineral traces. And I'm going to try this block just for fun. Igneous rock. I don't need igneous rock right now. I mean, it'd be nice and we may... I, for running an excavator for that kind of stuff, I don't really find the want for that. Igneous rock vein towards the south. Yeah, this is... I'm not worried about that. So, okay. So I think we've done a little bit of working around and looking. I did a bit more wandering and I found a few more things and it kind of circles around the outside edge of here. So I found a silt vein that's right over there. We'll use that for the clay that we're going to need to be able to build all of these things. That was one of the other things I was very, very interested. Can I get rid of that, please? Thank you very much. Uh, in order to be able to get all those bricks and whatnot that we're going to use to build a lot of this stuff, we're going to have to find a clay vein. I know that sounds kind of weird, but that's what we're going to do. Um, so I did find one. It's really close. What I think we're going to kind of do is we're going to kind of look around and see. So like maybe see th there's going to be some certain things like what's going to come out of here is immediately going to get just sent into an ore processing building that likely is going to live kind of, you know, somewhere around close to wherever this is going to be. And because we found and we're going to run over here before the uh, the sun gets down. But before we because we had to head because we found a coal vein and an iron vein right next to each other, kind of right here. And it's in a kind of a corner. I think what I'm going to do is, well, once once we get to that point, once we get all of the materials and the things, we're going to put an excavator up on that hill. We're going to put an excavator down there, and then we're going to build a building probably right in here somewhere. And we're going to pump that stuff into this building and output coal or output steel. So steel facility probably will be over on this side of the map at least for right now. So I'm, I'm going to say likely we can probably come up with some kind of a neat little thing, maybe even make use of this pond I made or whatever. But that means we can do a bunch of more stuff, and then I can kind of go out that direction and find a few other things. I did find one more iron patch, and it's way over there. And I think what I'm probably going to do in between episodes, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and reset up at least my coke bricks and my uh, reinforced blast bricks. My, I'm probably going to put them right out here just very temporary so we can just start pumping on steel because we need to start working through. Can I get the right button? This is not that mod pack. We need to start building power. We need to start making power so we can make these things run. So I guess let's craft that. Thank you. And excavator is going to be all those blocks. We need to be able to make a whole bunch of steel and a whole bunch of things and a whole bunch of stuff. And I need to just go ahead and get it done. So I guess for now, guys, I'm going to call it. I got a lot of work to do, obviously. I still have a shell of a base that looks like crap. And 
yeah, we haven't done anything, but again, it's going to be a long drawn out process. And when you have an, uh, when you have a, a, a mod kind of screw with you like that one did today, uh, it kind of puts me in a mood to not want to play. So I will probably, uh, just do some fun stuff in between and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.